Tsuma has approximately 35,000 inhabitants and is the largest town in the Oshikoto region. And for people who are into tourism, it's also the closest town to the Etosha National Park, which is the biggest national park in Namibia. With that said, welcome to the Tsumeb Copper Festival 2024. This is an annual event that's held in the beautiful copper town of Tsumeb, otherwise known as the Paradise of Namibia. The festival aims to encourage SMEs and existing businesses as well as upcoming entrepreneurs to continue the entrepreneurial culture throughout the country. As you can see, people are already setting up their tents on day one. This event will be held over the course of four days where they will have some kiddie sections where you can see some swimming pools, games, kiddies fun stuff, toys, etc. There will also be some traditional ornaments, but as time goes, I will show you around so you can see more of what to expect. The Tsumeb Copper Festival is one that attracts people from all over the country. Everyone gets really excited to witness this amazing event where everyone comes together to see various foods, performances, and things to buy. So let's have a closer look at what traditional foods are being sold. I'll do my best to actually share some of them with you and explain what they are. Over here, we can actually see some traditional food and I would say these kind of foods are usually made by the Oshiwambo culture. You can see some berries, some dried spinach and over here are actually some traditional clothing accessories that are worn with the traditional Oshiwambo clothes. Here we've got some dried up fish, some oils that are traditionally made dried up spinach, etc. These are also Oshiwambo traditional beads that are worn with the traditional attires. Moving on, we can see the next store is also selling some traditional food stuff and these are actually traditional fruit that I myself used to eat when I was a child. But I'm not sure what they're called in English, but we would say e nyandi in Oshiwambo. And then, of course, we've got more traditional foods here, some nuts and raisins, etc. The Ovambo people in particular are also familiar with some bugs and insects. And these are not actually weird for us. These are things that are eaten, most especially in the villages. And might I add... They are actually known to be quite nutritious. Right over here, we can see the famous Mopani worms that actually grow on the Mopani tree. So if you are not familiar with the Mopani tree, you can go ahead and Google that. And next we have some flour. This is actually used to brew traditional drinks such as traditional beer, etc. And these are traditional baskets. Very, very beautiful. Moving on, I will take you through the park and also just walk you to the other section. I'm quite curious. I want to know what is actually being sold the other side. So let's go and have a look at what is on the other side of the festival. One thing you should actually take note of is how clean this town is. It actually used to be the cleanest town in Namibia for some consecutive years. So now we are headed to the main section. I say main because who does not like a wonderful treat? This is where all the food stuff is being sold. As you guys can see, the pots are already loaded. People are already starting to cook while it's early because Copper Festival usually only gets busy during the day, especially considering that this time around, it started during the week. So 
during the morning hours it's a little bit quiet and we are expecting more people to come to the event or to the festival later on especially the school children they will only make I'm it back to my school. channel so today i am at the cooper festival and i'm gonna be showing you guys around so let's go so these i would say are traditional containers where they keep the traditional beers and drinks then you've also got some traditional cups that are carved from wood etc and these are used to serve guests during events and so on on the other hand we also have some seeds that are actually edible and they're placed here for people to come and view as well as buy later on the next section is the kids favorite section in this section you've got numerous toys and i think the most famous toy during the copper festival is actually the toy guns kids tend to love these guns and they spend the whole day just shooting each other playing and having loads of fun <laughs> It is the second last day of the Copper Festival and there is a parade going on. The parade is actually being hosted by the various schools in Tumur. So I'm not sure why it's being held on the second last day of the event, but let's have a look and have fun. <laughs> 